This is the Business of Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. We have an awesome guest in studio today, Marissa Sergi. She is the founder and CEO of Redhead Brands, Redhead Wines, and she's just been selected recently with the Walmart tryout program out of 500 companies. Welcome to Northwest Arkansas and to our show. Thank you so much for having me. Tell me a little bit about kind of where you started and what got you to where you are today as far as having this, your own brand, your own wine brand. Yes, it's a little complicated, so get ready. I am a third generation winemaker. My grandparents immigrated to this country from Italy with just a suitcase and a dream. So my grandfather brought over the tradition of winemaking, so it's been a family legacy. So my father learned from my grandfather, I learned from my entire family, and in fifth grade I officially wanted to be a winemaker in my career. So I took it to Cornell University. They have a viticulture and analogy program there where I got a lot of my foundation there as well and started Redhead Wine as my capstone project to graduate. So originally it wasn't a business, it was just for fun to see how well I could make a wine and market a label. And now I am doing it full time, just made a deal with Walmart and Southern Glacier Wine and Spirits. I am beyond excited. That's super cool, congratulations. Thank you. So I wanna dig back a little bit when you were younger because I always like to start there. I have similar in my life, have things that happen to me as an early age. Music took me on a path as a musician for years, my parents being involved in that for generations. Uh-huh. And so I get that generational passing on the passion. What did you, how how into it were your parents? I know it passed down and your, your, your grandparents came from Italy, but what level of participation did they have? And did you pick it up and take, obviously took it even farther, but just give me some insight to your kind of your childhood that way. Yeah, so my father, Apparently from my grandma, I started making wine at two years old with his father, my grandpa, um, Dominic Sergi. And my father, Frank, he made it as a hobby. He used to work for the Ohio Department of Transportation. But after he was hit by a drunk driver going through a red light while he was in his truck, um, he has six dislocated discs in his back and neck. So he wanted to take his wine making hobby into a career so it could be less labor intensive he wasn't paving roads or you know taking um, paving out the snow on the ground um, and being able to see my father take it from a hobby to establishing Luva Bella winery which is in Youngstown Ohio was such an amazing transition for him and I saw that from a very young age so I was thrown into it a lot of people, even now as adults, are still trying to figure out what they want to do, and you have this really clear passion. What do you, what all do you attribute having that kind of clarity and direction? And was there a time where you kind of, not that wavered, but looked at some other areas, I don't know, marketing, whatever it was, and then and then honed back in? Because it seems like you have a pretty well-rounded skill set to even launch this company. Yes, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do when I graduated, like most people, but having that family legacy in the Sergi name was really helpful because it was something I was really passionate about, lots of fond memories. Um, And my mother helped me discover that Cornell University did have a viticulture and knowledge program. I had no idea, so I applied and was thankfully accepted. So um, being able to study at Cornell really showed me that it was my true passion because I took classes and I was able to pay attention. It came as like a second nature for me. So it was helpful to have that base as a third generation winemaker, but taking it to the next level at Cornell really, really helped um, solidify that foundation for me to pursue this as my full time career. Hey, it's Derek Champagne. If your business right now during this crisis is concerned about your revenue streams, your existing customers, new opportunities, I want to encourage you to go to crisismarketingtoolkit.com.